Perhaps for each of us, electrical energy is probably too familiar and its importance is undeniable. So I researched and built a machine that can generate electricity continuously. Don't miss this chance, watch the whole video so you can also make such a machine yourself. Pay attention to the steps I will take right after this. First, I will use a piece of PVC pipe with a diameter of 48 mm. Next, I used a drill and screwdriver to drill several small holes in the marked plastic pipe. The purpose of me punching many small holes in the plastic tube is to be able to wrap copper wire. Next, I'll use some large head screws. Then I will cut those screws, just take 15 mm screw heads. After a while, I got a lot of nail heads. Next, I'll insert those screw heads into the round holes in the plastic tube. Be careful not to leave the screw head too long and not to leave too much excess in the plastic tube. Next, I will use electrical tape to wrap around the screw head. The purpose of me doing this is to insulate the screw head. Note, try to wrap all the screw heads so as not to affect the performance of the machine. Next, I used one millimeter diameter copper wire. I will wrap the copper wire around the screw head in a rectangular shape. Take it slow and be careful, because just one small mistake can make us fail. After finishing one round, I will wrap the next round. Note, I will wrap each round 50 times. Once all the turns are finished, I will cut off the excess copper wire. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. Next, I used a clear mica sheet and drew two circles on it. Next, I used two small bearings with a diameter of 21 mm. I will use the bearing to trace the circle drawn on the plexiglass. I used a drill and scissors to cut out the two circles I had drawn. Next, I installed the bearing into the cut circle. Next, I will attach the plexiglass to one end of the plastic tube. I use a special glue to attach it tightly. Next, I used a long nut and bolt to make the rotor shaft for the motor. Then I used electrical tape to wrap a layer around the nut to create an insulating layer for the shaft. Next, I used a 15 mm diameter round magnet to mount on the rotor shaft. Note, attach the magnet so that their poles are opposite each other. Then I will put the rotor shaft I just made into the stator tube. Next, I used the remaining piece of mica and attached it to the stator tube end. I will make a pulley for this new motor. Use bolts to tighten the pulley on the shaft. Next, I will make a cooling fan for the engine. I used plastic spoons to make the wings. Next, I took a plastic bottle cap and drew straight lines on it.
I will use special glue to attach the fan blades. I will make six wings and attach them evenly spaced. Continue using specialized glue to attach the fan blades to the motor shaft. Then I used a small bottle cap to cover the shaft end. I used a piece of plastic pipe to make a base for the engine. I still use special glue to attach the engine legs. I use a piece of wood and I will mount the motor on it. Next I will make another pulley. I use a small motor to power my generator. I will attach a pulley to it. I will attach a base to the small motor. Then attach the small motor to the wooden base. I use screws to screw into the wooden base. Next, I will use a soldering iron to attach the two ends of the copper coil to the screws. I will solder a small capacitor to it. Next I will solder another connecting wire. In the small motor, I would solder another connecting wire. I will create a transformer circuit to convert the current from the motor to 220 volts current. I will connect the wire from the transformer circuit to the socket so that I can use electricity safely. Finally, I will install the belt on the machine. Now it was time for me to check how the machine worked. I will use a Rapto to power the small motor.
Next, I will connect the adapter to the socket and the output of the large motor I will connect to the transformer circuit. First, I used a fan to test the current the motor generated. When the fan was running, I added a light bulb. Great that both work so well. I have checked it many times, but this permanent generator is still working extremely strong. This is really a great idea, right? Are you confident enough to create such a machine for yourself? If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.